and welcome back to Industry Giant 2. So I was going to play for, I don't know, half an hour or so and just get things running again. And bam, look at this. I've been playing for maybe 15 minutes. And I just saw this come up and I was like, holy crap, i got to start recording right now. So there are airplanes in this game, which I, uh, I didn't know if there was. There, they are once in a while like civilian planes around, but I didn't actually know if you could use them. And I especially didn't think they would carry very much, especially from 1928. A plane from 1928 can carry as much as a train from the same time frame. I don't think so, but oh well. This particular train carries six, so it carries as much as the trains I'm using right now. But uh, whatever, that's that's fine. So there's the, the plane, a Cartwright Condor 2. Uh, so I'll have to see how that works. Uh, I wonder if there's an airport or something, or how do you get those going? Oh, look at that, airport. Oh, it's huge. Holy crap, it's huge. All right. Okay, so I guess this works like any other train station, or you just hook it up to stuff you want. All right, I can like, put it over here. And what does it cost? Oh, half a mil. All right, so let's just have a look to see what use that could possibly have. So pretty much I want to fly stuff far away. Uh, I don't know if I really want to fly stuff up, up in this mess. So here's a, here's a decent sized town. It's just got a mess of crap everywhere. I'll put the speed on here. Um, the computers appear to be not making anything. They're just sitting there taking up the land. It would be nice if, if the computers weren't doing so well, they would delete their own stuff, but I think they're just going to look at I guess they're cranking out the yarn and then just leaving it there. Look at what they're even doing that for. What are they making? What is green doing or blue doing with all that stuff? Making soccer balls. Oh, making these winter coats. Oh, look at that. I bet you he's got his stuff screwed up. I bet you the computer has all their stuff messed up. What does it cost right now just to buy out? Buy out just so I can blow up all their crap, so I can do stuff up here. Hold on, where was it? That's nice. He's worth eight million. He's worth twelve million. Really? Is he really worth that much? Twelve million, yeah. Oh well. Oh. Take over price, 10 million. Take over price, 10 million. Well, um, I think that would be a nice place to, to uh, fly stuff to, but other than that, I don't think it's really worth it. But don't worry, I'll build some planes this, uh, for this LP at some point, but it's got to be worthwhile. Alright, so um, I had a look at your comments and um, someone made a comment about certain electronics and I agree, I think I should start up something else. So I did that. I got copper going here and I'm smelting it here. There's the there's the little warehouse that's just hopping the, the metal over, the raw metal. Uh, hits, hits the uh, copper coil there and then I'm making crappy phones for now. I'll show you what else I can do it's not at this time. So electronic light bulbs there. I don't want to mess with the glass. I'm not even sure where there is quartz out there right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. I can make uh, these radios later, but uh, I'd have to make the electronic components, so I'll deal with that later. Um, and then there's also these electronic engines, and I don't know what they're for right now. I assume for something else later on, so let's we'll have to wait and see. I checked all the toys. I thought it was for like an elect electric toy, but they don't require, where was it, none of the toys require, uh, there's one there, metal car only costs one steel, friction train costs one high grade steel, so they don't need any electronic engines, so it must be for something later. And I noticed, uh, this is kind of new, building material industry can make wallpaper with two paper right there, that's new, and I think that's it, there's all the alcohol, oh yeah, that's coke, I don't think anything else is really, really any different. Two toys and 
Oh, this is oh, fridge. Okay. Oh, there it is. Fridge. One electric engine. Okay. Interesting. Okay. And there's a whole bunch of clothes and crap. Handbag. Yeah, let's make millions. Handbags. All right. So um, that's something else that I tweak a little bit. This warehouse not only is housing all of my manufacturing outlets, it's also selling stuff to this town right beside me here. So I've got a crap load of newspapers and whatever those other things are called, um, copy books sitting there. So what I decided to do is just to kind of offset some of that as I've, I've uh, in these, uh, what are they called, printing shops, I started making, what is this, wrapping paper, gift wrapping, and posters. They just, they both require paper just like the newspapers and the copy books. And it's just to kind of divert um, merchandise a little bit so I can sell some other things at the same time. So that's all that is for. Although eventually I'm probably going to lose all the points. I should actually uh, look to, to move those out of here too. Um, this town is probably pretty good. Let's see if it'll actually let me sell any phones. One phone, yay. Actually, this town will be better. Check out this town. Oh, although this town kind of got screwed. Yes, look at that. It got screwed because <laughs> all the sh opponent shops, you see, there's a problem. You know, you, you build the shops over top of civilian buildings. Eventually, the entire town becomes businesses. <laughs> so it's all crap. So this town just sucks now. Because all of yellow and green have all their dumb businesses and no one's selling anything. What about this town? There's one phone here. Okay, well, I'll just... One phone. I'll do one phone here then. It's closest. So that's why I always try to build my stuff. There's two things I consider when I'm building the shop. I first of all consider where the growth of the town might be going. So I see this is open space out here and the growth of the town is probably going to go this way. I also consider and try not to squish buildings and because not only does that reduce the population of the town, but it also hurts any prior businesses that I have there, such as this uh, music shop. But if I build on uh, blank space, on cleared space, then it's a full benefit for me because then my other shop doesn't hurt and the town doesn't hurt because I don't squish anything. So I'll build an electronic shop there. And then, oh great, handbags, of course. I will find the train that's going to Larach Central. By the way, if you guys want me to name these things, you just let me know. Give me some names and I'll pick a good one. I've got all kinds of different stations to name here. This one could be like, you know, far away, far away station. This one could be uh, Midpoint, Midpoint Central, <laughs> being completely redundant. And this one could be Big Bertha, or no, Big, Big Behemoth. Just, you know, put to, put words together that actually mean the same thing, just to make it really annoying. And this could be, this could be uh, North, Northland, I don't know, or like Crazy Idiot Computer Land, and I can't sell anything because of all these stupid shops. I don't know, something like that. Just let me know. So let's see, this little train is going where? It's not going to, it's not going where I want. Okay, I think I only have two trains right now. What about this one? Oh, he's going there. So what I'll do is, how's the pianos going? I assume guitars is out of control, yeah. Okay, so each guitar I'm gonna dump. I'm going to dump one uh, phone, or I'm going to switch into a phone do that. And then this, wait a minute here, and then he's going to where? No. Oh, I see, he's going back. Okay, so that's good, just like that then. Okay, I had to think about what the hell I was doing there. So that train is going to here, delivering stuff, and then going back, and then delivering all the way to the other end. So eventually, I may want to get another train, but see, the thing is, though, I'm already kind of doing enough with the one. 
like if there's guitar just sitting there even out here out in the middle of nowhere there's just guitar sitting there so I'm, I'm uh, meeting demand with the even one train doing two trips so there's probably no use in changing that I also um, was playing around with this stuff oh look at that oh it's done oh, it's not done. oh it is done Yeah, see, I was fooling around with the wood, and well, that's what happened. I was thinking of, uh, I could grab wood from like somewhere around here and then the trains as they on their way back can uh, bring wood back. The problem is, is that I have to jump it all the way back to this uh, this station here or use a, uh, or this warehouse and use a truck. So that's probably not going to be too good. But there has to be a solution. Because I don't think one... Oh, you're done too. Okay, we got a major problem here. Major problem. Now, I think those trees might grow back, so I'm just going to leave them. They're not going to delete them. Uh, but I do need. I'm going to look back here. I wonder if what I, I could just truck it. Actually, I could just do something like this. Like, is this good back here? It's not bad. Can I build a road through here? Yes, that's the question of the day Oops. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to build. That's good. Right there. Oops, I think I might have deleted a few trees there. Then we're going to do this. And we're going to quickly... Whoops. Okay, that wasn't so quick. I'm going to dump that. So don't accept anything. You're going to accept only wood. Oh. And we're going to crank out wood. And then we are going to build a truck stop. Crappy trucks. That'll be fine. That's going to Because I'll find out the hard way. And then we're going to build a truck stop, I guess, right there. And we'll stick the around. And I'll finish the road. Okay. And I will build a what's it called? Repair thingy here. And then I will build a truck. Let's see. 40 bucks is a yellow truck. Yeah, it looks a, that looks like a bigger truck, although it only carries one still. Go here. You pick up wood. And you go back to these. Just like that. And there we are. Problem solved, everyone. Although I'm probably going to get a truck. So let's, let's clone him. Okay, so that wood problems will be solved which is screwing all of this up at the moment, but that, that will be fixed eventually. Um, shoot. You know what? Let me... Another one. Let's get rid of the waiting cells. We can't have them just sitting there doing nothing. So, just get them moving. We're having supply issues. Oh no, we're just getting... Okay, copy books are just going crazy here. Oh, no wonder.
Okay, so well, let's just have a look here. Actually, at, uh, at these demands here. So there's gift wrap. Oh wow, I did not know it was seasonal. Suppose I should have known. I figured people's birthdays, right? You would wrap stuff. Although well, we certainly wrap a shitload of stuff at Christmas time. Like everyone's doing now. Okay, well, all that stuff will, will be gone pretty soon. Posters will just pretty standard two a, two a month. That's these thingies here. I wonder if I should have trains bring varieties too. Only problem is that I've got to micromanage it. I've got to keep switching them out. Look, even up here, I'll have all the friggin' pianos sitting there. Probably because I'm not selling any. What's the demand for pianos here? Zero. Because of these idiots. Okay, no more pianos. What about the paper, though? Is paper doing okay? Paper's okay. Yeah, paper's fine. Okay, no more pianos. Maybe I should even change that guy's order so he picks up those pianos. Just for that, they should wrap the car and get wrapped up again. That makes sense. Okay, everything should be fine. We're we'll probably need another. Got so well for me last game. Good ladders are just awesome. <laughs> Jeez. I'm trying to transcend this year. I'm trying to transcend the last game. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to transcend the ladders and the tools and all that crap and the wheelbarrows that need the rubber. It's such a pain. I'm trying to do better. I should switch this. Oh no, I need plastic. Well, there's a whale over here. So, that's a possibility. It is a very good possibility. You just have to let me know whether there's something I should do. I could uh, jump into all the electronic stuff I used to. Like, I could get the plastic from the oil over here. And uh, actually, I could. it'd be pretty convenient. I could just stick uh, an oil rig maybe here, it would probably be connected, or if it wasn't, I could still build a warehouse. Uh, put the refineries out here, and then use this station to move it out, to move it back, so it wouldn't cluster all this up. So that's uh, possible as a future endeavor. Do we have any word? Yeah, we need to... I should have almost uh, did trains or something down here. Okay, what is this? TV set, black and white. 1929. Wooden boards, electronic components, and glass. And then standard demands are two each. Did you know? I didn't know that. Oh, there's Edison. Holy crap. I guess you can pause this if you would like to read these things. It's, I assume this is historically accurate. As a Russian physicist. It's working. First transmitted a TV image. St. Petersburg. 1925, and then he left, he left Russia, which was probably a good idea, especially during that time. Alrighty, wooden boards, I'm trying to close the glass, so I could get glass going. Alright, oh, what's this one? Hand mower, building material industry, cut wood and steel, and you get hand mower. I wonder if it's uh, got a mower in it, or if it's just a push. Yeah, it's blades. Yes. 
Yeah, it doesn't have a motor in it. Okay, that's interesting. So 1929. And Moors. Said there was something about based on the textile industry, kind of an, an innovation. All right, sweet. <laughs> He's bringing back pianos. That's a good idea. We still got. I've been watching. We still have lots of newspapers sitting there and coffee books, so we don't have to worry about that yet. I'm watching them. Everything's good there. I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about the phones because we can make a crap load more than we're selling, even with this town, but also I'm moving it over here. And yeah, look, there's a few sitting there. So the phones, I either have to cut down production or I have to diversify. And I could diversify to the radios. That's an easy one. I'll have to make some of these. Oh, but then I guess I need the oil. It'd be actually pretty neat to build those fridges, but I'd have to, I'd have to get a bunch of stuff. And I'd have to get a uh, new factory. Whoops. Oh, wasn't it? Uh... Where was it? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Steel, electric. Oh, this, this one needs oil anyway, it's plastic. Deep freezers. Hmm. Well, we're making money here. We're doing pretty well with money, actually. Let's we'll speed it up. Let's get the speed going here. For now, I'm going to cut this production off. Just so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, are we still have wood issues or what? Do we need more of these trucks? It looks like every single you better be accepting wood yeah it's accepting wood and they're connected yeah i think that it just every time the wood gets dropped there it just gets eaten so what if we just grab their truck another truck until this thing gets settled until we get a at least a, a gentle accumulation of wood on that warehouse there Eventually, I'm just going to need a train, which is annoying because this, the train stations are so big in this game. It just, it's kind of dumb. You know, I'm, I'm often comparing this game to Transport Tycoon because that game is a, is just a, I don't know how to say it. It's just, it's an amazing game. It's one of the best games probably ever made in terms of this kind of gameplay. So I'm often comparing it, and at least it was really nice in Transport Tycoon that you could modify the size of the train station. And also have, uh, I guess this game you can do more, multiple tracks, but even the length of the train, uh, even of the tracks was really good. It reminds me of really old uh, Transport Tycoon, or I mean Railroad Tycoon, Ra Railroad Tycoon 1. That was a really good game. Horrible graphics, but it was a pretty good game. You should check it out. Just check it out on YouTube. Probably someone's got it up. It's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Ooh, metal cars, yay! Oh, look at this new train. American Electric. Green looks like a looks like Oscar the Grouch actually. It's kind of square and green. And... Max load six. Electric, so I assume it's electric. I see the wires on there. Let's see if there's any other messages. No. Okay, I'm just gonna check that train out. Let's just check that train out right here. There it is. There. It's just a giant box. Oh, electrified tracks. Oh, I certainly don't have that. Yeah, there's a crappy wooden train. Yeah. So I carry eight actually. The big reds. The big reds carry eight. Oh, the repair costs are half. Speed is faster. Operating costs are, are oh, they're less. Okay, but of course you'd need the cost is about the same. One hundred fifty-eight thousand. 
So, but you do need electrified tracks and stations, which I certainly don't have. That's these ones here. So I'd have to, I'd have to uh, overlap all of my trains, all of my track with that stuff if I wanted to use it. So, and maybe another time I will do that. Oh, oh no! What we're watching this here. And what happened with pianos? Is it never recovering? Or I just need more wood? That's probably the problem. Yeah, I think I just need more wood. Eventually I'm gonna need a train. This is getting silly here. <laughs> Look at that. This is getting like the computer's last game. The ants, all the ants lining up to get the, what were they hauling, leather jackets? All the ants hauling the leather jackets. Although some things never change, because now we just have the ants hauling soccer balls and other crap. Let's see, what are they hauling these days? Oh, there's a soccer ball. Yeah, all those soccer balls. I wonder why there's so much demand for these soccer balls. I think kids are just kicking them in their neighbor's uh, backyards and losing them, and then that's it. They all get buying their soccer ball. I want a soccer ball for Christmas this year, and next month, and the month after. Or a leather jacket. Wait a minute, a leather jacket is actually even uh, being made? Winter. Yeah, they're still not being made. They still got this all screwed up. Oh, they built all this. This is all new. They should go out of business. They better go out of business. What is this? Making like cigarettes or something. It's like cigarettes. What is that? I better find that out building in the street. Oh, the wallpaper? Oh, it's wallpaper. Weird. I think they'd at least, like, open up one of the rolls so you can sort of see what it is, not just have, like, a bunch of tubes. I'm gonna sell golden tubes. Looks, that, that's what it looks like to me. Oh, the computers are just making a mess of this game. Ooh, gambling pieces. Gambling pieces? Really? What? Be it chess checkers, Palma, or Ludo. Classical board and strategy games never get old fashioned. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna make little cars, little hotels and houses for Monopoly and little chess pieces and weird. Alright! Oh that is awesome. Oh it's it's a bookstore. It's a printing shop. Hardboard and gaming pieces. Where did it say those gaming pieces were made now? Now I don't know. Okay. Let's get out of the hellhole of this area, which looks like it's just getting worse. Look at this madness. This is just awful. I really hope they go out of business. They better not be cheating computers. Even the handicap that computers get is actually that they they don't actually play by the rules and they get free money and all this craziness. Okay, so where are those gambling pieces at? There's board games. I'm definitely some board games. That's awesome. Um, gambling pieces. So where was that? Toy shop, maybe? Oh, it is. Okay, wooden boards. So I could just pop one down and make wooden boards. I could do that. Oh, no. Oh, these aren't linked. Actually, they don't have to be linked. I just, like, put it here. Okay. Uh, we got wood problems now. Definitely. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's a problem. In itself. Okay, um... I could stick a train station here. You know what? I could just build a plane. <laughs> Fly it right over. Not gonna do that. It's gotta have some purpose. Oh, I wish I could build a boat. I would totally have done that. I would have built a boat over. So I could do a train station, just ridiculousness. You know, it's too bad a train couldn't just pick up, move out a little bit, and then just come back in and, and uh, drop it off at this one, because it's linked to both. Too bad I couldn't do that. I bet you it wouldn't work, though. 
and just do a loop. You couldn't do that in the waypoints, I don't think. You couldn't have the same waypoint back to back. I kind of feel like I should try though, just for fun. I'm gonna try one of these though. So let's say we're here. And then I want to do another one. Another one. Oh, well, let me. 